All right, back with another quick video. Since I did the video the other day from this doing a 40 amp draw, I had this other small lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a 35 amp hour battery. It also has 26650 cells inside it. Um, It does say the max current is only 32 amps on this battery. Let me give you a comparison. Do you see this battery? Here is the one I tested the other day as a comparison. You can see much smaller than this one. And this one claims 32 amps max current. And I want to test that max current to see if at 32 amps or 40 amps the voltage sags. This one we know it sagged significantly. Somebody swore to me that this one could do 40 amps. And it could, just not very good. So I'm going to get this hooked up using the same rig and then we will run the test all right we're going to use the same modified sine wave inverter it's just a cheap inverter i got going to charge up the capacitors in the inverter you can see this is showing 13.9 volts i'm going to clear that out all right so now I got it hooked up. Let me prop that up a little bit so that we get rid of the glare. We take this off the front. All right, the inverter is on. I never take these protective covers off. All right. We got a 13.6 watt draw just naturally from the inverter. All right, so I'm going to take that light and plug it in. Now, we are pulling 35.6 amps, and you see the voltage, even with this bigger battery, with the bigger 26650 cells, has dropped to 12.2. The inverter is reading 10.7 for some reason. It must be some kind of loss because it's a modified sine wave. Um, use the multimeter here. Sorry, I'm kind of holding this. So it went from 13.9 to 12.14. So that meter up there is pretty accurate. 12.1. I'm going to let this run for a little bit, see how long it takes to uh, in fact you know what I'm just going to let it run until I, its capacity is done. I'm going to keep a 36 amp load on it and see how long it can last and I'll be back. All right, so let this run for about 20 minutes. We've already pulled 12 amp hours out. Still sitting at 12 volts. 
the inverter is still showing these weird figures the battery is not really hot at all I'm sure it is suited for this type of draw you can see we're pulling 37.1 amps so this is um brand new a 32 amp hour battery kind of curious if we can pull close to that with this I know I did um capacity tests on these and not all of them had come out the way I had hoped cables are well, I may have done that cables are a little warm but I'm gonna continue to let this run because I think this is wrong trust that more we'll be back so the inverter cut off and the battery must have shut it down let me see I do feel some heat in there yeah it must have hit over temperature disconnect so we take that off there that off there let me see if we can uh, get this to uh, power back on I'm gonna try to send a charge yeah yeah the BMS cut it off you can see I got the charger hooked up to it and it is reading 1.52 so I need to boost this back so that it turns back on so give me a second all right so I got the battery BMS reinitialized we're still sitting at 12.4 volts and we were able to pull 22.3 amp hours out of it before it uh before it cut out if I weren't heating it up I'm sure that it would have probably pulled full capacity so we know this one can pull a continuous 37 amps it is rated for 32 and I pulled it for 37 minutes Compare that to this one. I want to pull 40 amps on this. Not for a duration. So I'm going to consider this test good. I'm happy with the results. Still sitting at 12.4. I'll throw it on the charger here and get it charged all back up. Um yeah if you like the video subscribe like and we'll see you on the next one